Hello grade 11s, in our last lesson, we learned about electric fields. An electric field exists around any charged object. This diagram shows the electric field around a positive charge. The strength of the electric field is represented by how far apart the electric field lines are. You can see that close to the charge, the field lines are closer together. However, further away from the charge, the field lines are further apart and the strength of the electric field decreases. Electric field strength depends on the magnitude of the charge and also on the distance from the charge. Electric field strength E is also called just electric field and is defined as the force per unit charge. E equals F over Q. The unit for electric field is newtons per coulomb. F is the force on the charge, measured in newtons, and Q is the magnitude of the charge in coulombs. Electric field is a vector quantity and therefore has magnitude and direction. The direction of the electric field at a specific point is the direction in which a positive test charge would move if placed at that point in the field. Let us do some examples. What is the electric field if a charge of positive 5 nanocoulombs placed at that point in the field experiences a force of 2,5 times 10 to the minus 6 newtons? Let us start by making a list of known values. Charge is 5 nanocoulombs, which converts to the 5 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. Force is 2,5 times 10 to the minus 6 newtons. We'll substitute these values into the equation to solve for E. E equals F over Q, which equals 2,5 times 10 to the minus 6 over 5 times 10 to the minus 9. This gives us 500 newtons per coulomb. The direction of the electric field is the same as the direction of the field lines. This is a positive charge, so the direction of the electric field is outwards, away from the charge. There is another equation that can be used to calculate electric field strength if the distance from the charge is known. The equation states that E equals K Q over R squared. K is the same constant as that found in the Coulomb's law equation, which is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q is the magnitude of the charge and R is the distance from the charge. Let us try an example using this equation. What is the magnitude of the electric field 1,5 meters away from a charge of 2,1 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs? Let us start by making a list of known values. R is 1,5 meters. Q is 2,1 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. Substitute these values into the equation and solve for E. E equals K. Q over R squared. K is the constant, 9 times 10 to the 9. Q is 2,1 times 10 to the minus 9. R is 1,5. This gives us an answer of 8,40 newtons per coulomb. This is a positive charge, so the direction of the electric field will be outwards. We can also use this equation that we used in the previous example to calculate the strength of the electric field at a point due to a number of charges. Let us have a look at one such example. Two charges, Q1 of positive 3,5 nanocoulombs and Q2 of positive 4,5 nanocoulombs are separated by a distance of 50 millimeters. What is the electric field strength at point X, which is 15 millimeters from Q1 and 35 millimeters from Q2. We do two separate calculations. We calculate the electric field strength at X due to Q1 and then calculate the electric field strength at X due to Q2. Then add the vectors to calculate the resultant electric field strength at X. To find the electric field strength at X due to Q1, we use the equation E equals K Q over R squared. We substitute in the values for Q1 and the electric field strength works out to be 1,4 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb away from Q1, that is, to the right in the diagram. In the same way, we calculate the electric field strength at X due to Q2. 
the answer is 3,31 times 10 to the 4 newtons per coulomb to the left. The two electric field strength act in opposite directions. Let us allocate right as the positive direction and left as the negative direction and then find the resulting electric field strength at x. The resultant electric field strength will be 1,40 times 10 to the 5 plus negative 3,31 times 10 to the 4. This gives us an answer of 1,07 times 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb. The positive answer indicates that the field direction is towards Q2. Thank you for joining me in today's lesson on the calculation of electric field strength. Now you can move on to attempting the task video for this topic. Goodbye.